Hello friends, uh, welcome again on freeprojects.com. This is my new projects online shopping system uh, means e-commerce website. So I have developed this project in Python uh, 2.7, Django 1.1 and for database I have used the MySQL. For connecting the database from the MySQL to Python, I have used the MySQL connector. Uh, you can easily get that connector from the MySQL website and installing it on your system so and for the designing part i have used the bootstrap theme and html css and the javascript so this is a single vendor uh, e-commerce portal online shopping system so a single vendor can launch their this website for selling their products so let's start uh, the features uh, of the project with the features of the project so this is the home page and uh, you can see that i have added some of the jquery good effects module in this this is the about us page you can see this is the uh, small slider of the uh, project and then after that this is the product so you can see if we click on the all products then all all the products which uh, has been added by the admin it is playing there you can add a number of products from this application and if you click on the filters means if you click on the latest product then it will display that particular project uh, products associated with that types so this is also a dynamic suppose if you want to add more uh, if you want to add more types then you can easily add the type from the admin panel and that types will be displayed here and associated product with that type will be displayed here if you click on that type so that has been implemented in the project so this is the register so if any uh, customer want to register on the website <coughs> then he will be able to register without registration customer will not be able to perform any of the operation means he will be not he will not be able to buy any of the products so this is the login form so this is a role based system means uh, the same customer and ad admin will log in from the same window but internal functionality will be changed according to their level so this is the role based system this is the contact us page you can see uh, uh, this is the contact us page and i have added the google map here and you can also zoom in zoom out from here for displaying this google map your system must have the internet connection because google map works only on your system has internet connection so let's uh, log in with the admin panel and see uh, the features that what the admin can do so i have logged in into the system with the admin user credentials so this is the admin dashboard means admin will be able to perform these operations means he will be able to see product reports product type reports company report customer report order report and he will be able to add product add company add product type my account section change password and the logout and if you log in with the customer then this dashboard will be changed and the menu will be displayed according to the customer permissions so the same thing i have implemented in the menu so the same things which is available here you will be able to see the uh, details on me see the menu options here also so so let's go with one by one so this is the add new product if you want to add the new products then you will be able to add the product from here and then add new product types suppose if you want to add product type it might be a shoes it might be a men casuals men formals you can add those types from here and you can associate the products with this type so this is the product type and product company so value of both of the drop downs are coming from the database and you can easily change and manage the types and the company from the admin panel next is a product company so you can add the company uh, from here suppose reebok uh, and then adidas nike any number of companies you can add here and that companies will be displayed in that drop down this is the drop down company name 
and then product reports so all the products which you have added will be displayed here you can edit and delete from the report from here so you can see this is the image which i have uploaded in the product and you can change this image from this section and after that this is the company report all the companies which i have added into the database is displaying here means in the company drop down this four val value will be displayed and then after product type report so you can see that menu uh, that uh, product type this eight types are coming if you want to add more types then you can easily add it from here and that type uh, will displayed on the home page as well as that drop down where you are adding the product and then the order report so this is the order report <coughs> admin will be able to see the all of the order details of all of the customers so this is the processing and if admin click on the view items then admin will be able to see the customer details as well as the order items and admin will be able to uh, update the status of that all order also suppose if uh, admin want to change the status from processing to dispatch then he will click on the status and dispatch and just click on the update status you can see that status had been changed and this status will be displayed to the customer also so this is the product report order report and then the customer report so customers how many customers are have been registered in your website you will be able to see from here so this is the my account section so admin will be able to update their things from here and then the change password so admin will be able to change their um, login credential from here so this is the admin uh, panel just start with the customer panel so suppose i am going to buy some product Oh, and buy products and so once i click on the buy products uh, the system is saying you have not logged in. login to the system to buy the products so i am logging with the customer password test then you can see the dashboard has been changed because i have logged into the system with the customer uh, credentials so the customer permissions are different that's why this dashboard is coming so let's start with some shopping uh, this is a buy product and how many items so three items had to cut and then this one buy product and one item at to cut so you can click on the continue shopping so this one and two items so all the items are coming with the total cost and the uh, the whole uh, order cost and the uh, cost with for each uh, product so you can easily delete the item from here also so that ad, uh, item has been deleted so once you click on the buy again then to and add send you can see then if you want to delete then delete okay and then continue shopping so suppose if i want to buy this one and then add to cart then you can see that item has been added to the cart then proceed to check out after that this is a sample payment page and i'm adding some details here sorry name social kishore and then star details and the total you will not be able to modify this amount and when you once you click on the make payment your order has been in saved and it's on the confirm state because you have made the payment and you can take the receipt print out from here <coughs> so this is the my order sections so you will be able to see that what the orders are there and then if you want to cancel any of the order so suppose if i want to cancel this uh, that confirm order then cancel order then once you cancel that then cash and cancel button will be disabled because that uh, order has already been cancelled so if you want to click on the view items then this is the view item section and after that you can update the account and change password from here so this is the full project which i have developed so if you have an issue then you can post it on the comments thanks thanks very much don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you